Hello, spooky spirits, and I'm very excited today. How are we doing? We're doing another spooky movie, and if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, today we are doing Halloween Town. I know, how have I gone so many years without seeing this? I don't know, it must have just slipped my mind. When I was a kid, I never watched this. I have no recollection of this movie. I literally just know it's called Halloween Town, and I think there's a grandma who's a witch or somebody who's a witch, and I know that there's a skeleton that says, Welcome to Halloween Town. So, I'm really excited to get into it though. I grew up on Disney Channel. I didn't watch a lot of the original movies, so I've never seen like High School Musical or any of those either. I don't know if I'd ever want to watch them. But I want to check out Halloween in Town today because it seems like the perfect time of the season to do so. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the reaction. This is my first time watching Halloween Town from 1998. That's not. Well, what the hell? Why? It's coming. Why? They're going to everybody else's house. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not understanding why this is such a big deal. I was gonna say, you're not really helping. Thank you all for coming. You've been a lovely audience, but the show is over. Marty will see you all tomorrow. Wow. Mom. Oh, so they she doesn't even get to go trick or treating? Gosh, she's really talking to her like this. Ooh, Marnie. She's making some really valid points. But like she's also being really dramatic. You're kind of a huge buzz killer. Like, kids are supposed to be excited for Halloween. That's so cute. Oh, is he dead? Who is getting excited about Arbor Day? Ooh. Why is her bag alive? Tell me it's an animal, because I want to see the animal. Nope, it's just a bag. Okay. Okay, not to be a buzzkill, but who eats cookies on Halloween? It's a candy holiday. Better survive every single one. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Candy! Oh, she's pulling out a skeleton. Okay. Why the skeleton, though? Oh, she's coming in and stirring shit up. Look, Grandma dressed up for Halloween. Oh, yes, of course I did. Oh my gosh, she is not subtle. Oh, here, honey. I want you to go and hang this little boy. You know, if you could practice. Mother, could I talk to you in the kitchen for just one minute? Yeah, see, mm, kind of getting into it already. As soon as I get the children into their costumes. What costumes? <gasps> Don't tell me some... What is that? A Viking? Okay. That's pretty. What is she supposed to A ghost? I think I'm a big pimple. Alright. That's it. Mother, these children are not going out trick-or-treating, and now it 
is time for dinner. Um, see, she seems like the villain, but there's clearly something going on here that the mom is understanding and none of these kids are. Grown up things. No, 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 no. This kid needs to take off this costume. All right, but just one. Yeah. Oh, see, this is really sad. I don't trust her. I feel like she's going to. I feel like she's gonna stir some, stir the pot a little bit. Why? I'm gonna say, just sit down. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you, Poindexter. Like, you're gonna call her an encyclopedia, but you're like a thesaurus. Calm down. Wait. No. That's not her. Is it? Oh, Grandma. She doesn't look anything like you. She's way too cute. Oh, yeah, and this is from a guy who could win an ugly contest. Wow! Okay, Grandma, you're dropping hints, then she told you not to. Well, if she is a witch, she's got the weird part down pat. It's just the magic power that she's missing. Your mouth's quite right. If I don't head home by midnight, well, it's just a long time until the next bus of this grandma. Can she not just ride her broom home? And I'll be back to see you all as soon as I can. Oh, Aww. that's my fat, you two. Mother, I'm going to put Dylan to bed, and then I'm going to meet you down in the kitchen in one minute. Of course, dear. No, she's going to. Grandma? This is sad, but the mom is genuinely telling you to stop doing this. Oh, it's okay. She's sad because she feels like her grandma's the only one who understands her. Oh, she left her the book. That's a cool looking book, too. Is that real? That's a neat book. I was gonna say, I don't think that happens in Halloween Town. Okay. 
why. He, the, he already doesn't believe that like half of this is true. So I think it proves insanity is hereditary. I just hope boys are immune. Yeah, I don't know why you went to him first. I feel like you picked the wrong person to be excited about this with. Skeleton. I thought he was a taxi driver. Let's go. I don't know, Hurry up. We better move. Hello, Aggie. Yep. About to shut the door. Yep. See? Slow moving. Do you want in the back? Other things on here though. Oh, I love that. Look at her colors. Okay, you're on a flying bus and you can't believe that these might be monsters. You're that oblivious to. Oh my gosh. Oh, this looks so cool though. You can clearly tell this makeup's not super good though. You can tell these are all very yeah. obvious yeah. costumes. I don't get it. Monsters are just pretending silly. This is it. Mom said they were just pretend. Alan, this is Halloween town, just like the book. Oh, or maybe we fell asleep on the bus. Yeah, that's what is it's that thing? All a dream. Decorations, the goblins, the witches, the ghosts. And grandma, she was a dream too. Oh no, grandma, where'd she go? Oh my gosh, okay, so all these people look like they're wearing masks. Shoot. I wondered. How is everybody so... Wow. Oh, hello? That means I'm in trouble, because the mayor's supposed to know everybody. You look like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Pardon? Sophie. Uh-huh. Sophie. I can't hear you. I, I seem to have a, a... Oh, my gosh. That's really gross, but also that lollipop's look. Amazing. And, uh, you are... Don't poke people with sticks. This is my brother. Are you Grant's kids? Yes. You know our mom? Well, um, no. Is she here? He gives um, me scary vibes. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, see, we came he makes grandma. me think we that he's the villain. This is a skeleton, I bet. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the best scene. This is the one I was most excited for. We uh, really appreciate you doing this for us. Dang, he drives. What's the rush? I'm on my lunch hour. Play a fish. Just kidding. What's the thing? Well, I found a bunch of Cromwells in the town square. I need you to give them a lift up to the grandma's place. Sure, it's just over the river and through the woods. Over to grandpa. Okay, I get it. I don't know that he is a better driver. Thanks for your help. How is this taxi so big? That's actually a really good point. Oh my gosh. But that don't mean you kids can go running around here by yourself. Why? Why not? Well, let's just say that there 
there are characters around here that ain't the most savory. Like that kid, Luke. Who is he? He looks like the most human person I've seen here. Break it. So her daughter really does, or not her daughter, but her sister Sophie really is a witch. So is the brother the only human one? See, this is the same stuff that Sophie was doing, so she's gotta be a witch. You're not even concerned that their mom doesn't know where they are? Well, I suppose I could assume your mother doesn't know you're here. Mm hmm I, I dare say that she's gonna be very upset when she right. gone. Right. Can't we just call her? No, no, dear. I'm afraid we haven't worked out long distance calls between the worlds yet. Ooh. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's your brew. Are you cooking chowder, Grandma? I like chowder. Oh, no, dear. This is a witch's brew. It's a little recipe that I can For what? Like sixth century from King Arthur's son. King Arthur? How's this stuff gonna help? By bringing this talisman back to life. Ooh, that looks so cool! There, no. that, well, I was I'm just gonna fill it up and see if the light goes on. Ooh, she did it. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, it went out. Okay. That's what I get for trying to use instant. Instant. Oh my gosh. Scratch. Instant brew, okay. That's something I can help you with. I can cook. If you count pouring cereal. Ow. Well, gosh. Let's look at the original recipe. Oh, I bet it's really weird though, like frog words and stuff. Yeah, that's it. Vampire's bed. Sweat of a ghost. Sweat of a ghost. Did it go sweat? Mom, tell me you know that your kids are gone. Woman, you're okay. First of all, you're eating peppermint when it's Halloween. That's your choice of candy is peppermint. Peppermint is a Christmas candy, and no one can tell me different. Seems like not a very good compromise. So we decided to create our own world. Oh, kind of like when Marty and I got separate rooms. Precisely. From that day on, we were able to settle down and have homes and children and jobs uh -huh. and an excellent bowling league. Oh. So can um can creatures we can really make families together? Like, what if a witch and a goblin got together? Or, like, a witch 
and a vampire, then would their kids just be a mixture? This dude gives me creepy vibes. This guy, I'm telling you right now, he's got something to go with this. He's he's part of this. I'm telling you, he knows. He knows. That's why he doesn't want her involved. Why do these rooms look so generic? These don't even look like witches' brooms. These look like house brooms. I want a cool broom. Like a Kiki's delivery service broom. See, I don't like these brooms. I want an old fashioned broom. They just ditched the other kids. Oh my god, she really just ditched. That is kind of cool. Oh, they were just taking it for a spin. Okay, I thought they actually just left them there. I was like, this grandma's the worst. How did she get here? Okay, first of all, she didn't. But in the mom's defense, you also didn't freaking call her. Don't tell me they spin it. She can get up. Ooh, that mom's really putting her foot down. See, I'm not even mad at the mom, though, because here's the thing. It's her children. It's her choice. And yeah, the Marnie's old enough to make her own choices, kind of, but she's also still a child. And if the mom is not comfortable with this, she's not comfortable with it. And like I said, the grandma does have merit to be able to show her these things, but she didn't even contact the mom to let her know that they were safe. So, like, I can't really be mad at the mom. Okay. This is not our world. Now drop it. No, I got the half cap. Excuse me, would you take another one of these? I'm on break. Well, it used to be your world. Are you gonna get tired of us too? Oh my gosh, Marnie, drop it. They used to be my kids, but I've moved on. Marnie, not yet. You have a schedule. I'm a perfect schedule. Why don't I do everything around here? Excuse me. These two are gonna get slapped. Marnie, you're really getting on my nerves. And, like, you're the main character. I'm supposed to root for you. Wait, the mayor seems like a nice guy. Maybe he can help. Someone help. Is he writing with a feather? Those things are the worst. We did that in school one time, and they took forever to write. What the hell is that thing? Ew. I don't like looking at it. I think he used to have a thing for your mom and she rejected it because she had a husband. Say, I ought to show them around. We can take the Sticks River cruise, have a little dinner, 
I could show you all our old haunts. Okay, excuse me. First of all, she her children are here. Second of all, no. You were hoping the mayor could help you out. Yes. Can you please be less irritating? Do your job. Yeah, I thought that too. So I don't know if this has anything to do with the plot, but I'm wondering if maybe the reason- I'm gonna call him Willy Wonka from now on. I'm wondering if the reason Willy Wonka has it out for the Halloween Town is because the mom dated him at one point, but then she probably went off with her husband and they were a thing, and so he's all salty about that, but I don't know if that's correct. Who is he? Oh. Don't know, huh? No? Should we? Because he knows all about you. And about that brew you're working on, too. Yeah, if he's so powerful, why is he hiding? Why doesn't he reveal himself? You see, that's why I'm here. So you're like a, a minion. To you. Okay. You're dying to know, right? Or is the big, powerful Cromwell witch afraid? I don't fear him or anything. I was gonna say, this guy's awful balls to be talking to her like that. But, Mom, you can go home if you want to. I'm so sorry Polly doesn't belong here because Dylan thinks he's hallucinating anyway. I'll be alright by myself. Marnie is 13. Oh my gosh, so she's 13. The we gosh. This doesn't look good. Marnie, you get back here. How can you be can you be so firm with other things and then just let her walk out of the room like that? Ooh, this gives me even worse vibes. Why are we going in here? Don't tell me this grandma's so dumb that she's gonna just walk into any old trap. Tell me you have more brains than that. One, why would you want to sit next to that person? Wait, these are the people that disappeared. This dude. What the hell is this? Rose. You look like Ivan Ooze's cousin. So this is why so many have disappeared. Yeah. You put them under an evil spell and then you turn them into statues. Not statues, they're very much alive. How? Oh, so they're just frozen. To do what? Destroy our world? Ah, I know you have her in Talisman. Give it to me! No! And how do you know she has it now? And soon your hold over the creatures of Halloween Town will be broken forever! Girl, why did you tell him that? Get out of here! No, no, no! She's gonna- Oh, she's gonna get distracted because you people! Oh, you weasel. What? Oh my gosh. No! Don't let the grandma get taken, though. Oh no! Marnie, I bet you feel like a real um jerk right now. Somebody punch me in the face. Dude, what the hell? Why did they let why did she let that happen? 
Well, this just turned into a whole show. Well, okay, what do we do now? Because we're all on our own in a town we don't understand. What are you doing? We gotta get back to Grandma's house. No, not yet. Not yet? Are you crazy? That shadow thing is gonna turn us into statues. It isn't gonna follow us. Didn't you see? It can't stand the light. Oh. Uh. Well, if your grandma was a little brighter, she wouldn't have gone into a trap like that. Your big sister is gonna get mommy and grandma back. You are? Oh, duh. Of course I am. I don't know, Marnie. You don't have any training. This seems like a long shot. You're gonna do some shopping? Can we have some of your hair? Sorry, we don't. She's an herb, not a shrub. Okay, big salad, light crispy. Ooh. Well, you know, um, I could really be a help in maybe uh, sweeping the trimmings around the shop. Um, maybe even doing some kind of hair styling. Don't, don't touch that, okay? Don't worry, I use one of these all don't the time. That okay? <gasps> she just that's not what that's for. Hurry up. Can you just hurry up and cut it? <gasps> wow, you really did it like that. Why didn't you cut a smaller piece? You can't see it. What is that thing? What are you? You're gonna go in the steam room? Wouldn't a ghost just blend into a steam room? Look, a real ghost and a real sweat box. Oh, see, I thought the ghost was a cooler. What? Drafting I've ever seen. Didn't she say that it takes more than one witch to cast this spell anyway? So, like, how are you, especially you in training, how are you gonna do it? Oh, Sophie can do it. Because Sophie's also a witch. What are you waiting for? Remember Grandma's spell? Oh, oh my gosh. I can't remember. It was, it was old English or Welsh or something. I mean, give me a break. I have trouble remembering Agua. I thought you said you were a witch. I mean, the least you can do is remember a dumb spell. Hey, okay. You're just saying words now. Oh, see, she knows. See, Sophie's a better witch than everybody in this movie. Sophie knows what's going on. So want it. Okay, let's do it. Ooh. You did it, you guys. It's lit. How is a witch who's like not 13 doing so well as a witch and the 13 year old isn't? No, don't get out of here. Oh my gosh, stop it. 
they ran ahead of her and that makes me nervous. Yep. And you went back without any coverage? That's all you're gonna bring is that? Okay. So what do we do? Hello, let's go. I don't know what she's talking about. Do you remember what Grandma said about our traditions being an imitation of theirs? Right. Well, when it's dark on Halloween, where do you put the candle? Come on. In the window? Oh, in the pumpkin! Oh my gosh, my my dumb ass, you put it in the window. You're not actually thinking of going into that thing. You put it in the pumpkin. Why did that take me so long? I think that's a smart idea. Oh boy. Wait a second. How can he be out here? I thought he couldn't be in the sun. Or the light. goal was to take over Halloween Town and like He'll see you. You'll end up just like the others. Why don't you distract him? Why don't you do something? Ew. Oh, he's actually I knew it! He's Willy Wonka! It's Willy Wonka! It's Willy Wonka! I knew it! Yes! Oh, No, that's not her. You don't own shit. You can do what you want. Yeah, that's not her. Who is this that he's hurting? Because it's not her. Who is that? Is that Luke? Did he do something? Did he actually take part in helping? He did! Oh, yeah. Just hang in there. Join me. Somebody step in here. We're having an intra monologue? That's what's gonna pull you out of this? There's no way that that would land like that, unless she had like a spell where she wanted it and it happened. Ew, look at all the cobwebs. Ugh, can you imagine? Oh, there they go. Somebody get the guy. Get the mayor, please. Don't just let him crawl away. It must not be that hard to be a witch because are they doing? Did you see that girl doing this? It must not be that hard to be a witch because she didn't have any training and she did that. Can't take him seriously. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Someone knock him out. What is that? What are you doing? With the power of four witches, let's get in there. 
Why doesn't Marnie get in there and then also Sophie get in there? Does he have powers too? What? Looks like we just added another witch to the family. Or should I say, Warlock? No way. I thought he was the normal one. Like, you were doing it a second ago. Hurry up. Okay. So they're taking it from him? Oh, they were making it so it absorbs him. I feel like that could have been more interesting as a final scene. I feel like that was a little anticlimactic. Like, that was cool for them to all hone in on their powers, but I feel like we didn't really see, like, an actual fight scene. Or final end scene. You were right. There was a lot about Halloween Town that I, I didn't understand. And I'm sorry about the things I said and did. And I'm sorry that I didn't trust you. Everything I could have ever hoped for in a so much more. Oh, Luke. I forgot about Luke. Yeah, I feel like everyone kind of does. Are you good? Luke. Ew! Wow. That was not nice. That was so rude of me to say that. But. You were also kind of really like a huge jerk though. No, I'm sorry, we can't be a thing. I guess it didn't turn into a handsome prince No, 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 no. Oh, they're sending them on their way. That was nice. She wants to leave Halloween Town? I thought it was going to be the other way around. Aw. That's nice. Some other daughter bonding. What about the skeleton? I want to see the skeleton again. Wait, doesn't she need to pack up her stuff or is the grandma just going to leave her life and just go with them? Okay, well, I guess the grandma's just gonna leave everything she ever had and just live with them, I guess. Okay. Oh, yay! Bye, skeleton! Okay, that guy's getting on my nerves now. Shut. Alright, so that was my first time watching Halloween Town, and, you know, I feel like I'm gonna stir some people up. But honestly, not one of my favorite Disney Channel original movies. I feel like it was cute. It was very Halloween-y. That was very much the vibe. I got that. I liked that. I liked the characters. I liked Grandma. I liked Marnie. I really liked Marnie as a character. Um, I liked Marnie. I liked the Grandma. The brother, I could kind of, you know, I, I really didn't like his character. He was really irritating the whole time. Sophie, I knew from the minute I saw that kid that this kid was, like, had some sort of sense that nobody else had. And honestly, Sophie is the MVP because Sophie is the only one who really honed her powers the entire movie. Like, Marnie got on my nerves so many times with that, whereas Sophie was like, yeah, this is how we do this. And she's not even, like, a full-on witch yet. 
Marnie was like less of a witch than Sophie and Sophie's younger. So young sibling took this one away. She really owned that. She is the witch of the year. So honestly, it was a cute movie, but honestly, I was a little disappointed. One, because I guessed the villain pretty easily, not only because one, he was giving me vibes from the second he came on screen, but also I think I got a spoiler because I saw that the sequel was um, Revenge of that character's name. So like, I kind of guess I spoiled it for myself in a way. But even if it didn't tell me that in the sequel, I feel like this guy gave obvious villain vibes. Like, obvious, obviously he had some sort of, like, resentment of something. Um, I also was right. I guess the plot where he was annoyed at the mom or he's mad at the mom for leaving him for a human. And so he was all salty about that. I was totally right on that. I guess that as well. And the only other thing is I really was disappointed with a couple things. And that's where I think I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I was disappointed that there weren't cooler um, costumes or, like, designs. I know it was 1998, but I feel like they could have done a little more with makeup because it looked very, very much like Halloween costumes that you'd buy at any store. Number two, I wish the brooms looked cooler because if we're going to have a witch be the main, for, you know, main character here and we're going to have witches shopping for brooms, why can't they be cooler like they are in Harry Potter? Why are we having these brooms that any household in America would have? And number three, the big bugaboo for me was this final act scene because I felt like this was very rushed and it was literally not that climactic. I mean, the whole them honing in on their powers and holding hands and really believing was great, but the whole Care Bear stare, you know, standing there and all that and just believing, that didn't seem as like, like as climactic as they could have made it. Like there could have been a chase, there could have been some struggle, there could have been you know, an overarching, like, battle. I don't know. It could have just been a lot more interesting. Because in my opinion, it just kind of came and went. And, like, if you asked me tomorrow, like, what happened, I'd be like, I don't even really remember the scene. It just was not that impactful to me. But all in all, I thought it was an okay movie. I'm glad I finally checked it out and I can finally say I've seen Halloween Town. And I can finally say that I have watched it and not feel bad that it's one of the few Disney Channel movies that I have just never even sat down to watch. So I really enjoyed that, but like I said, it wasn't one of my favorites, and I know that I'm probably going to get some flack for that, but you know, not every movie is going to hit just that same way. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys, stay spooky. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, the amazing chocolate. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka.